All right, in this Visual Basic tutorial, I want to take some time to show you how to create a password protected uh, program that uh, uses a case structure, uh, allowing for the different scenarios when somebody's trying to guess a password. Now, this program is going to allow the person to type in the password three times. After three times, the program will automatically close to protect itself. Um, we're going to just use a simple uh, startup here. We just did a, a standard EXE program inside of, uh, this is Visual Basic 6, um, but it's it's all the same pretty much. Um, we're going to write all of our code on the form load of Form 1. So I have Form 1 here. I'm going to just double click and open up the form load of Form 1. Um, we want this, uh, we're going to have a dialog pop box pop up and ask for the password. Um, so we want that dialog box to show up every time after each attempt up to three times and then obviously the program closes after that. So what we're going to do is actually use a do statement so that it'll loop a do loop statement so that the program loops uh, after each attempt. Um, we want to keep track of the attempts so let's call a, uh, a variable call it attempt. This will keep track of uh, how many times the, the user has tried to log in. So each time they try to they run the do, it's going to add one and then later we'll make sure that, that they don't try more than three times. Um, we need to uh, use an input box to uh, allow them to type in the password. So we'll, we'll use the word password as the uh, variable where they're typing in. We'll just use a standard input box. And that'll that'll allow the user to type in their password. Now, what we want to do is use a case structure rather than a bunch of uh, if then statements to um, compare the password that they type in to the correct password. So what we can do is set up a simple three case structure. Uh, first we're going to uppercase whatever they type in automatically using the ucase function. And now we can do uh, our cases. Um, three scenarios can happen. They can either press the cancel button, which would be cases blank, where they didn't type anything in. We can do a case is equal to pass, which is the correct password for this program. Or we can do the case is else. Okay, those are the only three scenarios that could possibly occur if you have a password program. They can either leave it blank, they can type it in right, or something else is going to happen, which would mean they typed it in wrong. So, what we want to do is, if they don't type anything at all, let's just make the program end. If they hit cancel, the program is done, it ended. If they do type in the correct password, let's make another box show up, just a quick message box that says password's correct. Um, now for our case else, in the event uh, they don't type it in correctly and they don't leave it blank, what do we want it to do? Well, we want to check if the attempt variable is less than 3, then Let's, if it's less than three, that means I haven't tried it three times. Let's just say password incorrect. Please try again.
put in a, an OK button on these dialog on these message boxes. Now, else, so if the attempt is greater than three, what do we want to happen? We want the program to end, so it's going to protect itself. They try three times, program ends, they have to restart the program to try again. Um, now we're done with our if statement, so we'll end the if statement. And we can also end our select, our case structure. And then, of course, I've already put in the loop. And that's basically how you uh, create a case structure to password protect something, uh, another program or whatever. Now, uh, if they get the password correct, you would probably then load the program. This just says password, okay, nice job. You could also have it then load uh, the program, which could be displayed on, say, form 2.show. And we'll make sure that form one is hidden and that should take care of that so what we can do now is actually run this when you run it immediately it pops up and says enter your password if we type in nothing and hit cancel it ends the program if we run it we type in pass it's going to automatically capitalize it for us so it's not case sensitive where we use the u case function i say okay and it says password correct nice job it takes care of that now it, it it's trying to open form two which i haven't created yet and then finally, the other scenario is if we type in the wrong password, it should say password and correct, try again. So it canceled ended. That is how you create a password protected program using a case structure, uh, very simple, short code in Visual Basic 6.